Here's a video demonstration about SuccessFactors integration with two types of electronic signatures from VidSigner. This example will cover a job requisition process in the SuccessFactors recruiting module. We'll include an employment contract that must be signed by the candidate and the person in charge of human resources, even though the integration works for any document from human resources, such as an update on the environmental health and safety policy, for example. As employee contract, we'll use a document outside SuccessFactors with a series of fields or tokens that will be self-filled with the information from the candidate and the human resources executive that already exists in SuccessFactors. We'll also extract the necessary data for the signature, such as the email or the telephone number. We access to the template management module for digital signature, which is the module developed for this integration. To prepare the contract to be electronically signed, we can select a new template, that is an external one or an existing one. In this example, we use the contract template that we have already seen. Being a new template, we must associate it with the relevant success factors module. We can see that the document is already in success factors, but it needs to be prepared for the electronic signature process. To do this, we have to define the success factors roles in the document associated with the signers. Then we should define the type of signature or signature channel that each signer is going to use. We choose remote so that they'll receive an email to start the signing process and centralized, a signature with a certificate. This screen also indicates which page is defined to stamp the signature graph and if the position has been configured or is placed with a default position. Afterwards, we'll define the position where we want to place the graph of the signature for each of the signers. Once prepared, we have to publish it, so we inform the system that it is ready to use. Now we go to the recruiting process and create the job requisition. Once it's completed, we can select the contract template to sign. This is the one that we have previously created. We go through the approval flow of the job requisition. Once we finish the creation of the application, the candidates will apply and the corresponding interview processes will be carried out. In the recruiting module, we see the different candidates and if any of them are pending to sign a contract. That means that job requisition has ended. The candidate is now in the documentation signing stage, which means that the signing process has been triggered and a notification has arrived to start the process. We are now going to see the process of collecting signatures with VidSigner, starting with the signature of the candidate who is going to sign with the remote signature. They'll first receive an email with a link to the document, then we'll have to access the document on the VidSigner dashboard. They'll be able to receive it with the tokens already converted to the corresponding words. The signer can then proceed to accept the signature and they will be able to sign it with the one-time password that has been sent to their mobile phone. This is the telephone number and email that we have obtained from the existing data in SuccessFactors. Finally, they can make the signature graph and finish the signature process. For the hiring manager role, we have defined that they'll be using a centralized signature, so they will access to the signature web portal from any device with a browser and enter their username and password. They'll be able to see the documents with pending signatures. Select the one associated with this process and read it. They can check that the candidate has already signed, accept the signature, choose their certificate, enter their PIN, and complete the signature process in a few seconds. Both signers will receive by mail a copy of the signed contract if we define this action. Going back to the SuccessFactors recruiting module, we can see that the candidate has automatically passed from the documentation signing stage to the next phase. Entering in their profile, we can see at the bottom that there is a section about documents signed with VidSigner, in which we'd find both the signed document and the report on the evidence collected in the signing process. We see the signed document with its corresponding graphs and digital certificates. And we can check the report document with the evidence collected during the signature process. As we have seen, in this example, we have signed with a centralized signature, that is, with a digital certificate and with a remote signature for a job requisition. This integration works for any human resources document and process.